Hey guys, I'd like to show you how you can export thousands of podcasts in just a few minutes using a Juice Pack Manager. First, choose a design you like. Let's use this one. Press import. I already did it. So you'll see something like this. You can press edit and change colors, change logo, change podcast name, and only leave a few placeholders that will be changed from episode to episode. In our case, it's episode number, guest title, guest name, guest photo, and audio itself. So once you are happy with the design, press this button, save batch CSV. You'll get a CSV file on your drive and uh, you need to open it in Google Drive. Let's move it here, drag and drop, open it with uh, Google Sheets. You can use any CSV editor, it could be Microsoft Excel uh, or anything else, just make sure to export it in a CSV comma separated format. So the plugin generated a sample table for you with uh, titles and sample data. So I'll just go over uh, some data and some data types uh, so you understand how to change it. You can change anything, but in our case we only have a few parameters to play with. So in our case we would want to change the image placeholder. It's a guest photo. You need to download all photos to, to your drive and just uh, copy paste as a path to the file. And the same goes with uh, audio. Uh, download all episodes, all thousand or two thousand to drive, copy paste the path, uh, episode number. So you can hold shift and drag and drop, uh, sorry, drag, uh, uh, or you can enter it manually if your episodes are not in order. Uh, next, uh, podcast name, you don't, don't touch it. It's always the same. Uh, guest name, uh, let's type John Doe. And the same with title. So colors, you can change colors. Let's say you want a different background color, color on uh, some type of types of episodes. As uh, the color format is hex, and it's the same format um, as Adobe uses right here. So you can copy these numbers. And next, uh, these all numbers uh, are easy. You don't need to change them, but if you want, you can. Uh, and uh, the last uh, important part is um, Confuse and Compate. Uh, this template is auto-resizable, so it means if you add a new line, copy, uh, paste the line and type vertical resolution. It will actually auto resize and adjust all the design and you will get a great design for your Instagram, uh, Snapchat, or wherever you post your podcast. And another cool feature is the template is auto adjustable uh, in terms of duration. So by default, it will adjust to your audio duration. You don't need to worry about it. But if you want to specifically select a segment, let's say like from 30 seconds to 60 seconds, you absolutely can do it on scale. Uh, all you need to do is disable auto adjust by putting zero, uh, select your work area start, uh, let's say 30 seconds and your work area duration uh, 30 seconds as well. So it means your audio will be in vertical resolution and from 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, I have a sample data that I prepared to demonstrate how it works. Let me show you. Once, once you're ready, uh, press file, download, a comma separated CSV file. Just go back to the plugin. Uh, I'll show you there is nothing here yet. 
go back to the plugin, press load batch CSV file, select the file you just downloaded, and wait. It could take from a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on your uh, episode's number. So obviously, if you have thousands of podcasts, it will take a little longer. And press OK. And you can close the plugin now. So, as you see, we have three new compositions right here. And the number is a line number in the in your spreadsheet. And you can see that I have a different picture, different name, different title, different episode number. And if you go inside, there is a different audio file. So in original, it was uh, something else. Right. So uh, if I go to the second one, again, it's all different, uh, different colors. And uh, I did the trick with uh, outer size and uh, it's the same audio but outer sized for Instagram automatically and uh, I did specify the duration and you see that it's set from 30 uh, to 90 seconds let me show you the, da the data I used so this is the data I used to create those three videos as you can see, I have three rows. Um, this is a title row. You don't need to edit it. Just leave it as is. It, it's required for the plugin to understand what values it needs to change. So you start from the second row and I replaced uh, image placeholder, audio placeholder, episode number, guest name, guest title, that's it. So, and you can go down like this and have thousands of episodes and it will still work um, as well so the only thing is different is I went here and changed those uh, vertical resolution and custom um, custom duration you don't need to change it to custom but I think if you want to promote or uh, tease your audience I might want to choose uh, piece that's interesting and just give them 15 to 30 seconds um, and your VA or somebody can can do it uh, in no time yeah so this is a spreadsheet uh, I don't render it right away because uh, the render can take some time and by the way, uh, the timer is also auto adjustable. So you see it plays and, and audio uh, is dynamic. It, it's customized to the audio. So it's all dynamically generated. So I don't render it right away. Uh, so you can go and make sure everything is right. And uh, if everything looks good, uh, just select it and uh, render it out. You can use uh, our export feature. So go back to the edit tab and press export. Right here it will render everything in mp4 format uh, but you are free to, to use any any tools, uh, any built-in tools, or uh, media encoder, anything you prefer. Uh, and that's it. Uh, this feature also works uh, with any package uh, so it works uh, it, it will work with audio uh, visualizer uh, and instagram stories and basically any package we create we will make sure that uh, it works and you can uh, serve your customers at scale uh, you can charge them whatever you want uh, and generate thousands of videos thousands of dollars i hope this is helpful uh, let me know guys uh, what you think what else do you need maybe some use case that uh, we might add and uh, improve your life and thank you for your attention i'll see you next time bye bye